again. Um, I'm just making our pizza dough that we make because we normally make pizza every Friday. We make it or we buy it, but I'm going to make it tonight. And I just wanted to show you the super easy pizza dough recipe it's Friday, that I make. It's Friday, it's Friday. We get to watch movies and I can play in my Yay. <laughs> Did you get that? That's what we do every Friday. <laughs> we like to have fun on Fridays. Okay, so this is the simple recipe. What I do is I take one cup of water. It's my warm water, by the way. One cup of warm water. Then you take your fast-rising yeast. And I actually, I just get this from Aldi's because they come in a pack of four for a dollar. And we got to put our sugar in here also. A tablespoon tablespoon of sugar and mix it around a little bit here and then you let it sit for five minutes so now that we've let our yeast rise for five minutes we're gonna mix in three cups of flour just have the King Arthur flour and this is the third one. So there's that. And we're going to mix it up a little bit here. I just want to let you know that I am using an old ice cream container because it's easier to mix it all up and leave it in here and cover it with the lid and let it rise. So that's what I do when I get to that point. I'm going to mix this up a little bit and show it to you what it looks like. Um, all my stuff. So I've gotten it to this point right now with using a spoon and mixing it. So now I'm going to have to get in there with my lovely hands and squish it together. Now that I've mixed it with my hands, I've gotten it to this point where it's in a little ball. And at this point, you put it in here and you cover it up and you let it sit for half an hour to an hour, but usually I let mine sit a little bit longer. And if you don't have one of these nice little ice cream family things, you can just take a regular bowl and put over a, I don't know if I have one, yes, a little towel, and let it sit out on your counter for the hour or half an hour, or it could take longer just depending on the temperature that you guys are in, but it's easy. And this little thing right here will make two medium-sized pan pizzas, or our family likes to eat thin crust, so it makes two large thin crusts because I roll it out pretty thin, and I will show you that when I get to that point. But we gotta wait for this puppy to rise. Okay, so I'm at the point where my dough has been sitting for a couple of hours, and it has doubled in size from my little ball and I have my work area clear. I'm going to cover it with flour and I'm going to roll it to fit on this pan and this pan, which both of them are oiled. And what I do is I just put a little bit of olive oil right on there and I move it around with my paper towel. So that's coated that way, and after I roll it out, I'm going to put them on here, and I'm going to oil the top of the dough and put some um, garlic butter on it. It's super yummy, and you do that before you put all your stuff on it. So I've rolled it out. See? Fits in that pan. That's Aiden's arm. Now it fits in this pan. It's a nice big circle, so it does make two really flat. See how flat it is? Or you can make pan size. So right now we're putting our pepperoni on, and then we'll put our cheese. All right, they're covered in cheese, and they're going in the oven right now. And I have the oven at 350, and they'll be in there for 10 to 15 minutes, because mine are thin. It might take longer for thick crusted ones. Yeah. And I had the help of Aiden to finish them up. All right, guys, well, we're done making pizza. We're going to head out for our, well, not head out. We're going to stay here and watch a movie or a TV show and eat pizza on the couch like we do every Friday night. But if you didn't know, because I haven't been on here in a while, we do have a new puppy. Hawkins is her name. 
Not sure if I talked about her, but she's a husky, and she's beautiful, and she's six months old, and we still have Emma, who's laying around somewhere. She just turned six today, and Aiden made her cake out of, well, not a real cake, but out of, what was it, peanut butter? And dog bones. Peanut butter and dog bones, so, yep. We hope that you guys have a good weekend, and you enjoyed my pizza dough making.